Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician and music teacher living in Seattle. I did some city pop on the channel a little bit ago. I want to do some more. This is my first time ever hearing Teoko Anuki. I'm very excited for this. The song is 4 a.m. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> bop, 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 those upbeat bass. That was great. I'm sorry. This flute in the beginning is a vibe. This is beautiful orchestration. Those glisses, the woodwind support underneath. Awesome. Oh, I feel like there's vibraphone underneath that too. A little harmonic support. That's... It's really nice. Oh, and the synth on top? Oh my god okay sorry before we get into the verse because the voice sounds amazing Dude, the brass this orchestra this era this style of like big band writing is so good did you hear the flute lick though that came into the verse it is amazing i went back 10 seconds to see if we can grab this no it wasn't far enough just listen to the flute lick that is played bringing in the voice I'm telling you, man, like when you have a full on horn section, it is so it's just different. This is a whole different era, man, because people were really playing. People are really singing. The orchestration is good. Like you had to know a lot of stuff. It's very cool. Not downplaying modern stuff. I'm just saying for me personally, this is <laughs> this is a bigger deal to me. This is wonderful. All right. Back five. <laughs> That's a nice shift, man. Everything is just so nice here. I've been, I was kind of geeking out on the bass player because, uh, just the use of octaves and the funky lines, the way it like, just like solidifies with the guitar lines that we're getting here. It's so good. There's a lot of things to listen to. You could kind of geek out once, listen to the big, all the horns in the background. You could listen to just the rhythm section. You could listen to all the little augmentations in the, uh, with the voice and the different background uh, voices going on, but we're just going through once we'll, we'll, we'll get as much as we can, but this is a beautiful arrangement. keyboard soul here man oh this is so good the arrangement i know i keep saying that but i would love to play a chart like this this is so fun with the singer like that this is great uh, Oh, that was pretty sick. We went from those little background uh, background voice hits and then the muted trumpet hit supporting that. Let's go back 10 seconds and grab that again because that's pretty cool.
da, 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 boom. How groovy is that, man? That little, it's not even that long. You just have a couple unison hits in the group. Makes it real nice. Back 10. It's interesting to think about the, I mean, piano is pretty, playing pretty sparse here with like, you know, very creative arpeggios, kind of just like decorative, but the guitar line is very, very busy, but it still works because the bass is like so funky and we have so much stuff with the same approach in the drum set, but it's a lot to listen to. It definitely gets in your ears and going back 15, just listen to the guitar work and how like the relationship is working out with the bass player. Uh, you'll lose track of the vocal line, but just think about how those two players are listening to each other and just lining up basically... I mean, overly setting the whole tone for everybody because that is like the heart and soul right here. Mm. Just one more final thought on that. There, there's so much syncopation between the guitar player in the left ear versus the guitar player in the right ear. So just even if you took the bass player away and you just listen to like those two lines on the drums, it's already funky. But then you have the bass player doing what they're doing and then all the other things. It's it's really almost like a study how many different lines can, you know, the human ear and brain keep track of. But who cares, man? You're dancing. It's all good. Like you just feel it. You feel the vibe. <laughs> Okay, that was funky. The ride pattern there on the in the drummer, the ride pattern when the open little splash hi hat patterns is real nice. I'm gonna go back uh, 15 and grab that again because it just adds. <laughs> That's a cool line. I dig it, man. Let's go, guitar. Oh, open jam. Okay, cool, cool. If you're not listening to both layers, I mean, obviously you got the jam layer, the guitars, it's like, just, just like salt and pepper, just a little more, a little more, we're just adding more spice in. The background though, the trombones, all the, the horn line versus bass and the kick drum, we're just like getting a little thicker and a little thicker. We just keep adding flour to the soup there. It keeps thickening it up. It's real nice. <laughs> Is 
like a great example when jam band goes well. Jam band does not always go well. I guess a jam band section, but uh, one of the, like my favorite feelings when you're playing in this kind of setting, things are happening, and you see the horn players, you know, huddle up when they talk to each other, and they're clearly like, okay, you're doing this, you're doing that, and then suddenly, boom, these hits happen, and these horn, these uh, horn backgrounds are going in. It's just, it's a real good feeling. <laughs> Man, I feel like city pop would have been my thing if this was if this was my time. This would have been. I mean, I listen to style music, this type of music anyway. This is uh, it's I just love it. So that was a Patreon suggestion in the Discord, by the way. That was a really nice one. My name is Drumroll Tony. Thanks so much for watching. All my social media links are down in the video description below. I appreciate you. I would love to see you in a Twitch live stream. If you want to watch more videos, well, you can. YouTube thinks you would like these. All right, take it easy. Bye bye.